today I'm bringing you my budget um, with me video for the pay week of December 7th. And you guys like my new cover? It's so Christmassy, right? I freaking love it. But anyhow, we, I'm going to start budgeting for the 7th of December to the 20th of December. Um, today is Sunday. Um, I'm like almost headed out to work. I've been working Monday to Sunday and then I'm going to have to work Monday to Friday or even Saturday again. Let's hope I do not do that. But I just wanted to give you a quick update of what happened. So, um, I basically got paid by Amazon Flex. I did a few runs. So let me see. Can I... So I did a few runs. Amazon Flex paid me $126. And with that money, I paid Victoria's Secret, Toys R Us, Nordstrom, Bank of America. And with all of that being paid, I was still with $10 of spare money, which I threw at Toys R Us. And with the $6 left over, I left it as a cushion in my bank account. So that's what happened. And then... For these categories, everything got done, except for laundry. My boyfriend went home, and he did laundry for free at his parents' house. Groceries, that was the week of Thanksgiving, so I did go over by $4, so that was $44 that I went over budget. And if you, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I spent all of my snowball. Like, I did not pay anything towards my snowball. Um to Toys R Us, nothing. I literally just went shopping on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all the sales in between. So that dead snowball was basically non-existent. But I do have a haul of what I bought with that. So if you guys want to see it, I can upload it. It is already recorded and everything. But yeah, I did spend my snowball money. So let me zoom you guys back out. So um, if you see that you know, credit union is, was an automatic payment, so that always gets taken out. And it actually got taken out, like, on the 11 p.m. on Thursday, which I didn't mind. I was already paid by then. But credit union was an automatic payment. Tell you the rest I paid. Um, this is going to auto-pay, so that's going to come out. This has been paid fully. Like, that account is paid off. Um, Bank of America for my mom. I need to pay that, but you can see Victoria's Secret and Nordstrom Bank of America has been paid. And then, um, since, uh, I, these need to get paid as well, so, I'm gonna go ahead and budget out that for you. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna put it right here. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna use the notes pages because, um, when I was filming this earlier... Let's just say I forgot to like press record or something and I totally did not see that and I totally messed it up. So we're going to do that. Let me see. Am I in the beginning pages of my notes? Or my notes? This is my... Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. So this is for December. Seventh to the twentieth. Can you zoom you guys in? I think I do. This is the other problem I had last time that I was zooming in and I could not, for the love of God, uh, figure out <laughs> that I wasn't in frame. So that was like pretty funny to me. Okay, so what I need to pay is so I'm gonna write down my bills that I need to pay. So credit union. Which was automatically taken out the day before um, my payday, which is fine. It is for the 12th, 8th, and this one is $274. Then I have my mom's Bank of America. I take care of this. Um, I pay the full minimum 
um, that's due and then she adds a second minimum due payment so in total we basically do like a two minimum payment situation and we keep it stepping we're always going to keep it that way so for people that are asked that's just always going to be on my budget so that one is always due like on the 18th I believe and it's $55 so then I have Target And this one is due on the 19th. And this one is $33. And then lastly but not least, my Amazon. And this one is 26. No, this is on the 20th. I owe $26 from that. Okay, so then the total debt minimum that I need to pay is, let me get my calculator out. So I have $274. Plus 55 plus 33 plus 26. 388 dollars. So that is what I need to do for my um, bills. So I'm going to pull you up slightly and I put my monthly necessities. And this is basically the four walls that Dave Ramsey talks about. It is, you know, your food, your shelter, your transportation, anything that you need to survive and to make work happen. This is what this category is. So for me, that is my rent. This always gets pulled before any of that. This month I'm doing, I mean, this paycheck I'm doing 450. And this little box is just to check off that I did it, so nothing special about that. My gas, which is my transportation, which I do $60 of gas. Gas has been going down a lot right now. Well, not a lot, but it's going down. So $60 is cutting it way more than enough. Groceries, my boyfriend did groceries this past weekend. Um, so I'm doing $40. So this will just cover any like things that we forgot like or something that we just um, used up and totally didn't rebuy. So for me, that'll be like milk and stuff like that. So that's what's getting there. And then my phone. This is on auto pay. This is $57. And if you followed me earlier, very early on, you guys know that my sprint bill started off at $103 when I paid off my phone it decreased to um it decreased to like 60 something dollars and then I went up to $71 and then 72 so then I was just so done with it that I moved to Spectrum and now I have my cell phone bill with Spectrum and it's $57 it's literally unlimited everything with hotspot for $45 but I do have like the $12 insurance, so that's what brings it up to $57. Alright, so next, I'm going to have a miscellaneous category right down here. And this is for my, it's, my shutdown is my priority. If you guys don't know, I work for a pharmaceutical company and shutdown is a mandatory shutdown for everybody that works in the plant or the you know just the company itself this is to strip down the facilities clean them remodel them um get them to you know fda regulation standards so this is non-negotiable this happens every single year twice a year so this one is for april shutdown this shutdown that's happening on the 22nd to the um, 7th of january i'm taking a no pay and just using up whatever pto i have this one's for april so that's how that's working 
and let's hope I survive. The next miscellaneous category I have is sinking funds. And I have six, which does $60. So I have personal savings, um, Christmas, medical bills, um, car maintenance. And I forget the other two, but they're on there. And then um, since I got paid by Amazon Flex and I did not take out taxes, I need to pull out for taxes. I usually do 20%. Don't ask me why, I just think 20% is a good intermediate number. So if I got paid 126, I literally just minus 20% and it tells me $26. So that's what I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull out $26. And the last but not least, I always try to give myself spending money. Sometimes when I first started, there was no way I was able to get spending money. I was literally at zero, like I had just for my basic necessities. But now that my um, income is opening up just the slightest bit, I'm trying to give myself spending money. So let's hope. Okay, so now that I have everything down, let me, go, let me zoom you guys out. This is like literally my budget. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my paycheck. So... I'm going to write my paycheck right over here. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. It's at Erica's Life Vlogs. Um, I post it, you know, consistently. I also have Twitter if you want to look that out. It's also at Erica's Life Vlogs, too. Um, you guys know, like, on Monday, I took a half day no pay just because it was so slow at my work, like, two weeks ago. That I was just like, hell no, I can go home, clean my house, do laundry, cook, and you know, just everything. So, for that, I got paid $1,163.51. So, that's what I got paid. That includes a half day of no pay. So, if you see a very slight decrease on my income, it's just because I took four hours. I think it was four hours from work and just let it be <laughs> so I'm gonna pull that up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minus my monthly from this and from that let's see so 1163 with 51 cents minus oh you know what I didn't even do that I didn't do my total Oh, my total basics. Let me see. So 450 plus 60 plus 40 plus 57. I need a total of $607. And someone commented that my uh, basic necessities is very low. No, honey, that's just half of what I need. The other half is just the same. So I'm. I'm rounding about $1,200, so basically one entire paycheck of my job is what would cover me, just the bare bones of me. So yeah, so let's go back to this, 11, 63, 51, minus 607, so I'm left with 556, 51. Oh, and by the way, on the 15th of December, I will have one entire year on my debt-free journey. You guys, this is insane. I'm going to hopefully try to do a video on it and just, just go and talk to you guys about, like, everything that I've felt and gone through and everything. And, yeah, hopefully I can get that up because I've been just working so hard. I just can't wait until the 22nd when I'm off for two weeks. Like, ah, and then you'll have more videos for me. <laughs> So then, now I'm going to do my debt, so I'm going to minus my debt over here, or my debt minimum payments that I'm going to get done, so 556.51 minus minus three eighty I'm left with 168.51. Let's go ahead and do that. One. Oh my god, I messed it up already. Okay, you know what, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. 168. 
So that's that. And then the next one. Oh, I didn't even do the miscellaneous. Big Jesus. Let's. So for my miscellaneous total, let me see. I need 48 plus 60 plus 26 plus 50. Oh, yeah. That's not going to happen. The total that I need is 184. That's not going to happen at all. So um, let's. Let's do 168. Let's see, 168, 51, and then we're gonna minus my shutdown because that's what's priority. So minus my shutdown, which is 48, minus my sinking funds, which is 60, minus my taxes because that needs to come out. So we're gonna change my spending money to $34, and then. 184 minus 34. Oh, let's see. 184 minus 50 plus 34 be 168. So, the, <laughs> wow, right on the dot. Minus miscellaneous. I'm left with 0 0.51 cents and we're just gonna leave that as um we're gonna leave that as just cushion <laughs> in our in our bank account i guess no snowball for me this is what happens when you take a damn half day don't do it you guys this is how i tell you guys i did a video on it how i sabotage myself and i did it once again and look at me now with 51 cents now i can use this 34 dollars for a dead snowball but let's be honest I'm not going to do that. I'm going to need something, especially for the holidays. You know you feel some type of spending bug in you, so yeah. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget, I am doing a giveaway on my Erin Condren Black Friday haul. If you guys want to win a monthly deluxe planner, um, then go ahead and check out that video. Everything's there. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video today. Um, first time not having a dead snowball in a very long time. I mean, that's what I get for respecting my previous one. But yeah, here's everything. And I'm so excited to have one year, you guys, of being in the Zephyr community. Thank you so much if you've like, been following me since like day one. That means the world to me. <sighs> Alright, but we're going to start 2019 with a bang, okay? Well, let's hope we do. Alright, bye you guys. I love you so much.